Hello. Today we're going to talk about prepared statements in PDO and specifically we're going to talk about the like operator. So I will tell you from experience that you're going to be using the like operator a lot. Now if you're new to SQL, you might not know about the like operator. I don't know that you're going to get a great appreciation of it uh, from this video, but I'll do the best I can. So I'm going to work off the same set of data that I've been working off of. So sometimes when you write a query, it looks something like this. Select star from hitters where team equals question mark. Let me show you what that underlying table looks like because I feel like that's something I should do. Here's the hitter, it's called tables. Here's my field names. They're all uppercase except U name. So I'm fetching, all right, I'm, I'm searching based on team. There's things like name and position. Uh, this down here is where I'm displaying my results. So I'm not here right now to tell you about how to prepare a uh, prepared statement and how to bind your parameters. I've covered that in previous videos, but I want to show you how to do some more interesting queries. So rather than look for an exact match like that, let's make this more interesting. So what I what I want to do here is I'm going to say name. And so I know the first row is this guy named Lance Berkman. So I'm trying to pull Lance Berkman basically from here. And so when you're doing this, what you're looking for is an exact match. And if you're going to allow users to search your site, that's not going to go very well because your users don't know what's in your table. And so that's not going to provide much. So I get this. That's what I got. That means it's an empty set, basically. But I know Lance Berkman's in there. Well, here's the problem. It's not Berkman. It's Lance Berkman. This is exactly the kind of problem that I'd rather try and deal with with a like. So Sure, if your users know exactly what's in there and how it's spelled and the case sensitivity and all the stuff that might matter, great, they can search your table. But if you want to make your table way more searchable, what you should use is like. So instead of equals, we want to say like. So like is used for uh, with like wild cards and matching. I'm not trying to teach you about like. In the world of SQL, what you should think is that it would go like this. So these percent signs represent wild cards. What that would mean is uh, say you put in a B here or something, that would give you every result with a B in it. And you start getting some huge data sets with that, but I'm telling you, I think you want your users to get more results than less results. I don't know why you would want to, I mean, I guess at some point you want fewer results, but generally speaking, I think this is a good idea. And also to be clear, if you enter nothing, you're gonna get everything, which seems weird, but I like it. I'd rather show more results than less. Anyways, Let's go back to that first one, so Berkman. So Berkman occurs in the string Lance Berkman. Now, in SQL, this is how you do this, but I'm telling you right now, this is not gonna work. And that's what this video is about, it is not exactly explaining how like works, but to show you that's not gonna work the way you want it to. If you look at what I get from a debugging statement, it's kind of horrific, right? It's got these like uh, percents, there's like all these back ticks. It didn't work right. That's okay. So here's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is, yes, you do need those wild cards, but they don't belong there. They belong down here when you're binding the parameter. Now I'll show you what I mean, and this isn't going to work either. I have a tendency to teach by doing it wrong, you know, all the wrong ways, and then maybe show you how to do it right. That's more of the idea. So we need that search term, and we need to uh, put, the, uh, put the wild cards on it there. That, however, doesn't work for a different reason. So we're not allowed to pass parameter two by reference. So the way I fix that is like this. I'm gonna create a temporary little variable. I'm gonna call it team. And up here, I'm gonna do that. So you're not allowed to do concatenation right there is kind of sort of the problem. You are going to have to concatenate those wildcards onto that team. You're just not allowed to do it there. But if you do it there, well, that will work. Well, let's see if that works. I, I think I kind of spoiled that one. But that works. And what's cool about this is if I want to do everyone who has the word man in their name, well, there's that many people that have the word man in their name. Now, you could do things like starts with and ends with, and I guess if you were doing starts with, you would have the wild card like, like that. If you were doing ends with, 
then I guess it would be that. But I'm really, like I said, I'm not trying to teach you about the like operator and wild cards. Um, generally speaking, this is what I do. I just allow any part of a match because I'm more concerned with providing access to my data than I am with restricting it. And like is a great tool for doing that. In the world of prepared statements, as you can see, it's pretty unintuitive. But now you know how to deal with a like in PDO. Thanks for watching.